so so um, this was just building on some of the stuff that Marcia said earlier about workflow automation and 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 um, the statistic there. This is one one company statistic and perhaps is one end of statistics, as it were. You know, it, it, it may be slightly scary, but but again, you've got this point that that you know, no smoke without fire. Whether that statistic's right or not. There is um, increased amount of automation coming uh, um, along um, in this journey um, and around the workflow around project management. There's a whole series of examples there as to how you could apply uh, uh, um, greater technology use in, in terms of how projects are managed. Um, they are examples. There are more. Uh, um, so, for example, we've been involved in just automating a a bid approval process uh, uh, um, where there was multiple um, approvers for an individual bid before it left a client's organization um, and there was time saving. Now, what I would say is when it comes to dedicated development as opposed to off-the-shelf off products, uh, uh, um, you're not going to invest uh, um, in a dedicated um, piece of software development if you are a smaller organization and there's a smaller return on investment. So, for example, let's say your company has five project managers. You are not going to spend a million pounds to save a day a week of, of uh, across five project managers. But if you've got an organization of a thousand project managers and you can save a day a week, actually, that probably turns into an, a, a real return on investment. Sorry, but probably a headcount saving as well. So. At this stage, the domain of dedicated development is, is purely in larger organizations. Um, but as these products come along and they become more accessible, you know, they become a bit like, you know, Microsoft Office, where you pay a monthly license fee for a product. We think that the penetration will also start happening around those. So you've got a sort of make or buy type decision. But certainly as part of this journey, uh, uh, um, automation will be part of it. We, we, you know, maybe we're biased as an organization and, and others believe it's the other way around. that automation comes before prediction. We're finding that prediction comes first. That's what captures people's imagination, the excitement. You can predict the outcome of our projects. You know, so 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 uh, um, that is part of that journey. But we believe prediction comes first. So.